hello my dear pharmacist friends i welcome you in this new video in this video again we are going to discuss multiple choice questions related to pharmacy subjects including pharmacology pathology and biochemistry plus a calculation mcq so without further delay let's start our first mcq of this video we want to make a 1 lakh or 100,000 batch of methicobalamin tablets. The quantity required per tablet is 500 microgram. What will be the bulk quantity needed to formulate the whole batch? It is actually a industrial tablet formulation calculation question. In this MCQ, a tablet batch of 100,000 is going to be prepared. In this, the active ingredient methicobalamin, that is vitamin B12, is used and per tablet quantity is 500 microgram so we have to calculate the whole batch quantity of this active substance so we can calculate this problem with our calculator it is a standard calculator windows and we are going to solve through this so per tablet quantity is 500 microgram and we are to make a batch of 100,000 tablets so we have multiplied 500 into 100,000 so we will get the answer this much microgram actually the options are in kg and gram so we have to convert our answer to kg or gram so we will divide this by 1000 it will give us the number of milligrams again dividing it by 1000 will give us grams actually 50 grams are not there so we will again divide it by 1000 and this will give us answer in kilogram and we can see 0 0.05 kilogram answer is here so d is our correct option here now the next mcq it is actually biochemistry mcq this mcq states one gram of protein will provide how many calories when consumed in food options are 2 3.4 4 9 calories and 18 calories actually protein 1 gram provides calories of 4 gram carbohydrates provides 3.4 calories of energy and fats provide 9 calories of energy the next mcq this is again a biochemistry mcq the deficiency of one of the following vitamins is associated with an increased risk of severe measles measles is actually a skin condition and the options are vitamin a b c d and e actually the skin conditions are usually associated with the deficiency of vitamin a so vitamin a deficiency is associated with increased risk of severe measles now the next mcq this is actually a pharmacology mcq so all of the following medications has side effect of constipating the patient except one options are sucralfate ondansetron ferrous sulfate amy triptyline and none of the above so the question asks about the medications that has the side effect of constipation actually sucralfate has side effect of constipation ondansetron also have ferrous sulfate have side effect of both constipation and diarrhea while amitriptyline has side effect of constipation so actually all these medications can produce the side effect of constipation so actually none of the above is the correct option here because all these medications can produce constipation again another biochemistry mcq one gram of fat will provide how many calories when consumed in food so options are 2 3.4 4 9 and 18 actually as we discussed earlier also that one gram of fat will provide 9 calories of energy when consumed in food our next mcq is again a pharmacology mcq a patient complained about some skin irritation to which doctor prescribed levocetrazine how this medication should be taken so options are should be taken on empty stomach should be taken during meal should be taken before meal should be taken after meal or take at night before going to bed 
Actually, the antihistamines are usually advised to be taken at night time before going to bed. So, this can be generally taken as to be the correct answer here. They are usually advised to be taken at night time for the reason because most of them have the potential of reducing sedation. So that's why they are taken near sleep time. As in daytime we need alertness so these anti-allergic medications that are antihistamines they can produce sedation and can impair our daytime alertness. So it's best to take them at night time before going to bed. Our next MCQ, it is a pathology MCQ. What is bromodosis? Bromodosis is actually an abnormal condition. So, options are given smelly feet, bromide poisoning, appendix rupture, bile acids deficiency and bad breath. Actually, bromodosis is smelly feet. Progesterone implants in female provide contraception for up to it is again a pharmacology question and it asks about the contraception period that is provided by progestin implants. Options are 3 days, second option a week, third option a month, fourth option is 3 months and last option 3 years. Actually progestin implants in female provide contraception for up to 3 years. Also, we have another injection of medroxyprogesterone that will provide contraception for up to 3 months. Here our correct option is E. Now our next MCQ, which one of the following is a long acting corticosteroid? Again a pharmacology question. It asks about the long acting corticosteroid. So options are prednisolone, methyl prednisolone, hydrocortisone, fluocortolone and beta metasone actually long acting corticosteroids include beta metasone and dexamethasone here option that is correct is beta metasone other are short or maybe intermediate acting corticosteroids but this one beta metasone is a long acting corticosteroid and so their dosing frequency will also be less the last mcq of this video what is bufixamac? It is a pharmacology question. What is bufixamac? Thiazolidine dion, anorexiant, biguanide, NSAID, bile acid sequestrant. Actually, bufixamac is a non steroidal anti inflammatory drug. So, D is our correct option here. Thank you friends. I think this was enough for this video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, wish you all the best. Thanks for your time. For more such pharmacy MCQs videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel.